Hello, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a menu plan and grocery haul. The grocery haul is mostly from Walmart Grocery Pickup and also I did stop at Aldi to pick up a few things. So we will get into that, but first we will do the menu plan so you know why I bought the groceries I bought. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we're doing. This week, we're pretty much going back to basics, uh, or next week. This week was a rough week, I'm not gonna lie. It was a rough, rough week. Um, it was a rough week work-wise and just, I'm exhausted. And you know, when I sat down to do the menu plan midweek, I had no brain cells left. I could not be creative, I could not think of anything. So it's pretty basic, but that's okay. Once in a while, basic's fine. So I will turn you around and show you what we're doing. Okay, so Sunday, we have church in the morning. So we'll come home and we'll have brunch, omelets, bagels, and bacon. And that will generally hold me right through until lunch. Um, if I do get hungry, I'll have some kind of little snack or something, but generally it'll hold me right through. And then for dinner, <laughs> This is a rollover from actually, it was supposed to be Saturday night, um, but we're gonna do barbecue chicken, potatoes on the grill, a vegetable, some eggplant on the grill, and something else probably on the grill. And then for dessert, I'm gonna make frozen Oreo treats. I will link that below. Um, we were supposed to have this Saturday night, but my mother-in-law called and invited me to a mother-daughter dinner at her church. So I will be doing that Saturday night and the boys will be eating leftovers. On Monday, you know I'm all about the hash waffles these days. I'm gonna make some hash waffles, eggs and sausage for breakfast. For lunch, chicken salad with crackers and fruit and dinner is going to be salmon with dill sauce, roasted sweet potatoes and some kind of veg. Tuesday's my weigh-in, so I always try to eat kind of light, especially after 12 o'clock. I'm going to have French toast in a mug for breakfast and fruit. I'm gonna have a salad for lunch and then dinner. I believe it's just me home or maybe me and one kid Tuesday night. So I will be having a Chinese takeout and I usually get beef with broccoli. And I think I will be having an ice cream treat that night also, cause it will be within my points. Wednesday, I'm gonna have some steel cut oatmeal. I gave it six points because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna put in it. I like walnuts and brown sugar in it. So I'll have to calculate that up when it's done. I'm gonna have egg roll in a bowl for lunch with some fruit. And for dinner, I am going to make a crock pot kielbasa, potato and green beans. It is so good. You literally throw those three things in there and you let it cook. And it's one of our family's favorites. And then on Thursday, I have a really bad glare on here, sorry. On Thursday, I'm gonna do a breakfast sandwich for breakfast with Canadian bacon on a bagel and eggs, egg roll in a bowl for lunch. And then dinner's kind of high point. That's why the rest of the day is so low. I'm gonna make meatloaf. There's no points next to that because I'm not exactly sure what kind of meatloaf I'm making yet. I have several recipes. I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese and a vegetable. Friday, stuffed French toast for breakfast with some fruit, tuna and tomatoes for lunch, dinner, asparagus and egg sandwiches, and French fries. Uh, Saturday, my husband and I will be gone uh, pretty much all morning and afternoon at an event for church. And if I'm not mistaken, they're serving us breakfast and lunch, which I'm guessing breakfast is gonna be pastries. So I will probably eat something before I go and lunch I can pretty much handle. And then for dinner, we are going to be having tacos at the request of my family. Uh, my exercise notes, my running for the week. Saturday and Sunday are always up in the air. Monday, I'm hoping to do four miles. Tuesday, three. Wednesday, three. Thursday, four. Friday, three. I've really been lazy with my miles. I've, I've gotten way too comfortable with three. I need to start upping it a little bit. And I've really been enjoying my arm workouts with the weights. So I'm going to throw one of those in there. And I also might throw in a um, 8 Fit workout. It's an app that I have that I really like. Um, throw one or two of those in there. My May running miles to date up through the 11th of May are 30, which is a little down for me. But like I said, I've gotten way too comfortable with three miles. My year to date miles are 385.4. So there is the menu plan for the week. And as always, if anyone would like a copy of 
a blank copy of my menu planner. You can shoot me an email. It's in the description box below, jonespointatplate at gmail.com, and I will be happy to send you a PDF version of it. So that's it for the menu, and I'm going to show you my grocery haul. Okay, and on to the grocery haul. First, we have Aldi. I picked up a package of kiwis. They were on sale for two something. They're usually like three sixty nine. I picked up a thing of uh, knockoff Nutella for my son. He likes Nutella and peanut butter sandwiches. I picked up some taco sauce. That was like a limited time offer at, at Aldi and we use this a lot. My hubby needed some Triscuits, so I picked those up. Strawberries were on sale. Now strawberries are just coming out in Jersey at our farm stands. Um, but I won't get there until over the weekend, so I wanted to grab these for today and tomorrow because I probably won't get there till Sunday. Some eggs. I already have two or three dozen in the fridge. Just grabbed one more. A uh, big thing of salmon for dinner Monday night. My favorite center cut bacon. Non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, I had a whole one and used almost all of it making a chocolate cheesecake the other day. Some bananas and a bag of french fries for Friday night's dinner. That was my Aldi haul, and on to Walmart grocery pickup. We'll start with the meat. I got one two and a quarter pound package of 96% lean ground beef. Uh, that is for, part of that is for the meatloaf I'm making this week, and then a one pound package. This and part of the other package will be for the tacos I'm making. A big pack of boneless, skinless chicken breasts for meals during the week. A thing of turkey kielbasa. This is for the crock pot kielbasa, potatoes, and green beans recipe. Some breakfast sausages because we were out. I needed those. I forget the points on these. I want to say they're three links for two points. If that's different, I will put it on the screen. But I think they are three links for two points, and they are really, really good. Um, just household, I needed some plastic wrap. I've never used the Great Value before. I bought a big one, so I hope I like it. Um, I like that it has a little cutter on it. We'll see. It was really inexpensive. It was like two something. And then, oh, my potatoes are making a mess. Bag of sweet potatoes for roasted sweet potatoes. Bag of all-purpose potatoes for the crock pot meal and just to have potatoes. An eggplant, I am going to roast up or grill up the eggplant uh sunday night along with the chicken some celery because we were out mushrooms just because i like to have those sauteed up and use them in my eggs during the week and some coleslaw mix for my egg roll in a bowl for lunch this week then i got some green beans they had to substitute the i asked for great value but they were out so they substituted the del monte and I also got a big can and a small can. That's for the crock pot meal. Um, I got four packages of the ranch dressing mix. This is for the Skinny Kitchen Ranch that I make almost every week. And then I got two packages of the Great Value Cool Whip in the light. I am making a recipe for Mother's Day for dessert that I saw on WW Coffee Mama. It's like, she called it, I think, Oreo Surprise. But unfortunately, they were out of the thin Oreos, so I don't have those. I'm going to head over to my local shop right, though, and see if I can get those to make uh, that dessert for Mother's Day. And I will, when I make it, I'll put up um, the link to it and or the link to her channel or whatever and show you what it was. They look really tasty. They're frozen. Uh, chicken broth, because I need it for a recipe. This was a substitution. I asked for the Great Value Almond Milk, and they didn't have it, so they substituted Silk, which is fine with me. Uh, reduced Fat Buttermilk for the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. And if you know me and watch my channel, this is self-explanatory. Um, I also got some sugar-free Jello. Um, you know, I'm not a huge sugar-free fan, but man, I do love that Jello fluff because it doesn't taste like it's sugar-free. Um, I asked for all the Great Value brand, but they were out of some of the flavors, so they substitute it. Um, the, the recipe is on my website. It's just Jell-O water and Greek yogurt. Then I got some, I meant to get chocolate pudding, and I got vanilla. And it wasn't their fault, it was mine. I just completely 
I, I just spazzed. Whatever, it's okay. I'll use it for something. And I got a banana cream. The other night I made, I saw on somebody's Instagram, and I believe it was Simply Filling in K-Town. I think. I will double check. Um, she made a Wendy's Mock Frosty. So I made some the other night. And I made them for the whole family. And I did not have enough chocolate pudding. So in mine, I used half chocolate pudding. That's why I wanted the chocolate, not vanilla. And I used um, a tablespoon of the banana cream. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. It tasted just like one of those banana fudge sickles. It was so good. Um, so that's why I bought the banana cream to make it like that again. Um, I would recommend though, if you make it, she just left it in the freezer for a little bit, I think. I left it in there for over an hour and the consistency was exactly like a Wendy's Frosty. It got that that really cool frosty consistency, but you have to leave it in there a while. But anyway, as always, I'm off topic and off track. But that is my grocery haul for the week at Aldi and Walmart. And I think that about sums up my menu plan and my grocery haul. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. You know the drill. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what is on your menu plan this week. I am always, always, always on the hunt for new recipes. So let me know what you're having and... That is it. I will see you in a day or two for a, I don't know what, for a cook with me probably or what I eat in a day or something. But, oh, Monday, Monday, Monday. I wanted to tell you on Monday, there is um, a collab going up. It's a good one. It is, there's about, I think a dozen people in it. It's hosted by Dish with D and it is your five favorite WW friendly snacks. So that is going up Monday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And make sure you look for that. It will be a good one. So that's it. I'm out of here and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you soon.